Welcome back to Warzone Workshop. Today, uh, I actually got a box in the mail from Airsoft GI that I ordered um, not long ago. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop it open. But um, I got a shout out re recently from a, a, f a YouTuber that I really, really like. And uh, he actually happened to um, buy a gun that I was selling on eBay. Um, I don't do that very often. Uh, it just felt that I'd thin out my collection a little bit and uh, sell off some stuff that doesn't go with my collection and he bought it and uh, said some nice things about me. This next one is another used one. It is the KCO2. It's all tacked out. It's got a grip. It's got some tan furniture and it came with not one, not three, but five mags. Again, we have some flip up front and rear sights. And I picked this one up from another YouTuber named Warzone Workshop. Go check him out. He does gas blowback stuff too. So and, uh, he likes to open boxes with stuff other than knives. So in honor of him being so nice and friendly, I'm gonna open this box with, I don't know if I can say what this is. On YouTube um, it's an extra large um, barrel cover there you go and uh, I'm gonna open this box with it somehow um, it probably won't be good to use afterwards but uh, I'm gonna try to make a knife blade out of it <laughs> Got through one side. <laughs> Two sides, now just the middle. You can't really start it in the plastic. You gotta start it like after. Always, uh, always, always use protection and uh, stay safe, play safe, and uh, have fun in a safe manner. Whew, that's been a public service announcement. All right, let's get into this. We got some papers, and I got my paperwork. Cool. Paper, official, airsoft CI paper. Nice, good stuff. Save that. And then first we got the new upper receiver, the optic, uh, the optic included AUG upper receiver, the uh, the A1 style with charging handle and the takedown, which is fantastic because mine has a missing takedown. And then we got a green angle grip. A black angle grip, a tan angle grip, fantastic, those are needed. Uh, this is a Dean's to Tamiya connector, I need that for something else. This is, uh, oh, oh, this is a wonderful little time for me to add this. Uh, I'm still running a giveaway on my channel. As soon as it hits 500 subscribers, I'm going to be picking someone at random from uh, one of a few videos where I mentioned the giveaway. Uh, I'm going to be giving away this refurbished uh, KJ Works. Yeah, KJ Works, right? Yeah, KJ Works SIG P226. It's been, uh, 
I breathed life back into it because it was neglected for years. And uh, if the owner of it is watching this video, um, he has given me permission to just give it on to someone else. And uh, he's tried saying that he's lubricated it in the past, but no, no, this it was not. And uh, it now has life again. And uh, this is a nine ball gasket for the SIG and high kappas. And I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the magazine that's with the gun by uh, replacing its gasket. Um, so that whoever wins this will have a upgraded pistol and uh, you're welcome but we'll, we'll do that in a separate video and that way they uh, they can have that what else we got in here oh this is for a different project gun that I'm working on this is a uh, this is a peck box um, a, a fake peck box this is uh, got an extension so it's so that I can put a battery in it Ugh. it's for this FAL OSW that I'm uh, that I'm working on and he still needs some parts uh, I need a new uh, bolt uh, I need a new mock bolt it's a charging handle doodad bits and bobs and then I need uh, s the wiring the other part of the wiring connector that goes to the battery I need that um but other than that everything else is fine I've tested it it does shoot right now but I plan on upgrading it a good bit uh because I want it to be a nice patrol rifle I have it so that you know I can use full auto but I'll mostly keep it on semi-auto uh but this peck box is going to go on the side so that I can put a battery in the peck box because it's front wired and uh you don't want to just tape a battery to the gun because it looks stupid so you get a fake peck box and you put the battery in the peck box and there's a little hole in the bottom of the peck box so that the wiring can go into that and uh, it just looks better that way. So that's uh, that's a different project gun. Uh, and last but not least, there's this Ranger Armory stock that I picked up because it just looks so good. I had to try it. Um, but the gun that it's gonna go on is uh, probably gonna be that M14 Combat Master. But uh, we'll see if that works out in a, uh, in a separate video. For now, we'll go ahead and we will put the stuff uh, aside. This is for the, uh, the AUG up here. Um, I have a, a phantom kit on the way uh, to do a suppressor kit uh, and as soon as that gets here I'll be doing a video on that AUG just swapping all those parts out and uh, making it look the way I want it to. These uh, these front grips that I picked up they were just they were a good price so I got a couple different colors black, green, tan. Um, one of them is going to be uh, the tan one's going to be going on the M14 probably uh, maybe not I don't know. Um, but then I, I just got the other two because I, I needed more of them. I, I prefer angle grips. Um, ever since I tried a Magpul angle grip, I've just been oogly boogly for them. Can't help it. Uh, if you haven't tried an angle grip, try one. Try one. It will, it'll do things for you. Um, things that you'll, uh, where that where that barrel cover go things that you'll need a barrel cover for it'll do those types of things for you um it's wonderful but this this is gonna be fantastic and uh we'll go ahead and pop open this upper receiver and we'll just take a look at this it's by echo one And it looks nice and new. No scuffs on it, nothing weird going on. No missing parts. Yeah, it's in good shape. Sweet. 
Let's, uh... Oh, it's so good having that crosshair on that. And then it's got the iron sights on, on top. Crosshairs. And uh, this one was uh, a green AUG. The, uh, the charging handle is, uh, is the olive drab green. So uh, the, uh, the aftermarket parts, um, they must just take random, um, they must just be random colors. So this one's green, which is fine because I painted the green, the all green. So let me go ahead and grab that all. Let me just. How do I? Uh, how do I do this? Uh, something like that. Go ahead and take my magazine out. Make sure we're empty. My uh, my takedown is missing, so I just got this screw here. I still need to get a different barrel. There's my upper for now, and my uh, my inner barrel is there. Go ahead and pop my receiver pin. Get my receiver out. Or a barrel. All right, sweet. So now here's my lower. Here's my my upper, and here's the upper I just picked up. Mine's all scuffed up and marked up and marred and whatnot. Uh, it's got a black charging handle, which is removable. You can just take off the screw and swap them. Uh, so if I wanted mine to be black, that's fine. I could do that. So if it, if it came with a tan one or a white one, I could have swapped it over to the black one. But it's fine. It's fine being green. I'm good with that. So now this is the civilian civilian model of the upper receiver for the AUG. Uh, I have a new uh, rail coming in to fix this one because it's broken. That's why it's all taped up. But I'll be getting this upper receiver fixed up slowly, piece by piece, so that I can have an extra one just swap out if I wanted to. Um, I plan on getting a new barrel and all that for it. This, however, is my new upper receiver. I'm going to go ahead and slide my inner barrel down on it here. And this should all fit together as an OEM part, or uh, what? How, however you say it. There we go. That connected. My barrel is kind of taped on. Uh, it, whatever was holding it, gave out. So I, I need a new one eventually. A new whole front barrel assembly. Go ahead and slide this on in.
And just like that, now I have the military version of the upper receiver. <laughs> oh man, that that looks so freaking good. Oh. <laughs> well, there's a bunch more, but it'll have to wait till next time. I'll see you there. Or I'll see you here <laughs> in the war zone.